Welcome back everyone, I'm Robbie. And I'm Jai. And Peter Jackson is back at his old tricks, big epic blockbuster he has just come out that he's uh, produced and co-written based on a popular book written by Philip Reeves. These are our thoughts on the film. Hit it! traveling the world and digging up the past. He used to visit all the time. Then one day, everything changed. She'd found something. Something he wanted. He would have killed me too. Mortal Engines was directed by Christian Rivers and it stars Hera Hilma, Robert Sheehan and Hugo Weaving. Yeah, uh, as you said before, it's based on the, uh, the very popular book series, the first of the four books uh, in the Mortal Engines series. And yeah, it's pretty much the world, it's, it's set, God knows how many years in the future, I can't even it's, remember. It's, it's set a thousand years in the future. A thousand story. years in the future, there we go. And I've read the book, I can't even remember. <laughs> uh, pretty much the world has gone to nothing there's been yeah. a war broke out everywhere and major cities are now the uh are these predatorial mechanical roaming moving hunks of metal who hunt down smaller cities and towns around the area for to stay alive pretty much yes and, to sal salvage scraps and yeah. um, materials yep and uh there's a lot more going on with the characters themselves so we focus pretty much on the city of london and uh, Hester Shaw, who is trying to get revenge on Thaddeus Valentine, who uh, runs London. Pretty much, yeah. For, for personal reasons. Yeah. Uh, now, I've read the book. Rob hasn't. I haven't. What did you think of the film? So, uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of Peter Jackson. I loved, obviously, Lord of the Rings. I adored. King Kong's one of my all-time favorite movies as well. The Hobbit world, I think it's on the same level as Lord of the Rings, except for the second one. As a whole, The Hobbit, I don't think it's good, but I love Peter Jackson's film. I love his writing. I love his production value. Um, but when I saw the trailer, I thought it looked like crap. I thought it was horrible, and I was not looking forward to this film. I was even planning not to go see it, and then I thought, no. I've had plenty of surprise in the past. I'll go check it out, and I thoroughly enjoyed the film. Good. Because, yeah, I thought the same thing. Now, I've read the book. I really like the book. It's fun. Uh, the trailer looks bad. The trailer is this trailer film. It, the trailer is this film's worst enemy. It is really bad. Um, Apparently, the film itself <laughs> for a lot of people is also bad. But yeah. uh, I, as as a fan of the book, I enjoyed this. This was good. There's it it it's not totally different from the book, but as with many many book adaptations, there is a lot of stuff left out of the film for time reasons and for just pacing issues uh, reasons. Sorry, uh, so. Yeah, that's that's necessary. Mm. So what they what is what is actually in the final film works. And yeah. it's, it's all like great parts of the book. So definitely, um, I think that one of the big uh, mistakes a lot of people think are going to think going in is that Peter Jackson directed it. He didn't direct it. He he co-wrote the script with Philippa Boyens and Fran Wel Fran Walsh, and has the same writing team who did King Kong, the Hobbit adaptations, and the Lord of the Rings adaptations. Um, I think this is their weakest script of the lot, but um, I still thought it was decent enough. There is there is some dodgy dialogue, there is some dodgy character development, but as a whole, I think it worked. Um, of course, there is, and the book is kind of dodgily written as well. Like for for a major, I don't know. I I think I don't know if I'm completely correct, but I think this might have been Philip Reeves' first book. Um, but it's kind of written a bit amateur like right. it's, it doesn't feel like it's a very polished writer it's very fun it's fast paced it's cinematic and it's it's a it's a good book it's fun but it does feel like anyone could have kind of written it right uh yeah. and and i actually noted that when reading it so it kind of fits in that the movie is the same yeah way yeah definitely um but i mean the, the film isn't out to be the next big academy award-winning film it's out to be a fun blockbuster and for me that it delivered it's um, the the while the character development is lacking, there is enough there to have you. To, they had me. It had me invested enough, especially in Hester Shaw, 
and Tom, the two leads, and um, Valentine, who is the main antagonist, Hugo Weaving's character. Um, after that, Hera Hilmer, who plays the lead, who plays Hester, um, she is relatively unknown. Like I've seen her in a couple of like independent, like little uh, foreign films, and she's very good. And I saw her. She was also in Da Vinci's Demons, right? Which I didn't see the whole series, but I saw a few episodes, and she was in them. And she, I think she's a very good actress. She's got a lot of potential. Um, and here, she has to carry the film, and I thought she did a very good job of doing that. Um, none of the dodgy acting I thought came from her. It all came from her co-stars, um, and definitely Hugo Weaving. He, like, even Hugo Weaving when he's when he isn't at his best, is still great because it's yeah. Hugo, he's, Hugo Weaving. Yeah. Um, that's definitely not the issue here. It's I thought some of the pacing was ever slightly off at times, but as a whole, it's got a really good momentum to it. But it's cinematic. It feels like it belongs to the big screen. Um, and that's one thing where, even though it's not Peter Jackson directing, Christian River, who was a um, concept designer and a production uh, designer on Lord of the Rings, he's obviously worked closely with Jackson, and he, you can tell he's he's been working with someone who has a big epic vision like Peter Jackson. Um, I think the film would have been better if Peter had directed it himself, but because there are some times when the direction did need better uh, focused vision behind the oh, camera. Sure. Um, there are some really gorgeous shots, but it's more like the the hand to hand combat scenes. I think had some really dodgy editing and directing. Yeah. But thankfully, there's only one or two scenes that do that. The rest of the time, it it looks very good. It flows very well. The sound design, I think, is exceptional in this movie. The sound was good. And it's funny that you actually mentioned the pacing because there was because this is purely because I've read the book. But it it to me it was like oh well here comes this scene and all of a sudden it's over. So to me the film felt felt kind of rushed. Purely only because I've read the book. I I, I had the same feeling watching the Harry Potter film. Exactly, exactly. Like, it's, exactly. Kind of, it's kind of like ticking off the next thing that's going to come, yeah. Exactly. And then there's, there's as I said, there's just some characters who are just kind of minor characters in the film who are major characters in the book. Yeah. And there's some characters who don't appear at all. Definitely. Um, but that's, uh, that's with every book adaptation. I don't think you can faithfully do a book adaptation without yeah. the movie running five, six, seven hours long. It's, it's unavoidable. You can't... Yeah, you have to streamline something. And Peter Jackson is someone who has proven that he knows how to streamline... I mean, how do you condense Lord of the Rings into, yeah. a, into a nine-hour film series? That's Although for The Hobbit, he did the exact opposite. Exactly. Made it, made, it, made it one movie too long. Exactly. But, but uh, when, he, when he's on... Uh, at, at his best, he has proven to be a very good ad, ad, adapter of novel oh, definitely, to screen. Definitely. And... Yeah, yeah, I think if, yeah, if I would have liked to have seen what he would have done behind the director's chair. Yeah. In, 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 especially, in, especially because he's been gunning for the story to be adapted for so long. He's been after the book for so long. Yeah. Um, it took a long time for it to make it to the big screen. Yeah. But I, I had, I had a really good time. What are you giving it? Four stars. Yeah, uh, I was a bit hesitant after watching the trailer. As I said, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going four stars as well. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's good. I, I don't see why. I mean, yes, I can see why people aren't liking it, but. It's N not that bad. No. It's not, it's, it's, there is far worse movies this year. <laughs> Way worse. This is actually just, this is a fun and a Danny blockbuster, yeah. so yeah. Definitely. But apparently seem to be going to people on the planet who like it. But I like Robin Hood, so what do I know? In the great game of survival, this is Checkmate. I knew you wouldn't leave me. Shut up and run. You sure you want to do this? I have to. For my mother. You look at her, and all you see are the jagged edges. But she is something quite different. She is beautiful and strange. And very, very rare. Alright guys, those are our thoughts on Mortal Engines. Let us know what you thought of the film if you'd seen it. Um, keep an eye on the channel in the future. There'll be lots of reviews coming out. Trailer reviews. Big one with Aquaman coming out soon. Aquaman, the Boxing Day releases are coming out yeah. soon, so that's really, uh, really looking forward to those ones. <laughs> uh, until then, we'll see the movies. <laughs>